Presentation for the Intel Extreme Masters Cologne and uh, with uh, Carmack right now. Uh, Carmack, it's uh, been a fantastic weekend, a record breaking weekend. So, uh, how has it been for you personally? Uh, fantastic. And uh, just one thing to say after Joe Miller, actually, it's a shame we don't have a bear to, uh, to give the checks and the trophy to, to the Russians because that would be quite fitting. Uh, somehow, I don't know how it's their tournament. Intel Extreme Masters is just where they shine. It always is. And what about the record numbers this weekend? It's been great, right? Well, uh, I have to say I'm very thankful to the audiences around the world watching this. We hit almost 300,000 uh, concurrent viewers watching that final. Uh, I thought uh, without the Americans we wouldn't be able to do it, but we've done it. Uh, uh, competition was fantastic and just a great weekend overall. Right. Fantastic. Uh, let's introduce you to the two teams who have won their competitions respectively here at the Intel Extreme Masters. The first team who have the, become the winners, the first amateur winners of the Intel Extreme Masters in Kelowna, a team who already beat SK Gaming and Ninjas in Pajamas. No small feat in either case. Ladies and gentlemen, the amateur champions for the Intel Extreme Masters Cologne are the Copenhagen Wolves. Our winners, of course, of 17,000. Let's hand them over. There we go. Lovely, wonderful. Uh, $17,000. And uh, Carmack, do the honours. And also the trophy. Ladies and gentlemen, your champions for the amateur, Copenhagen Wolves. And whilst the amateur championship was a very competitive time, the professional tournament was no less so. And the professional tournament in the end ended with two European teams, or at least not American teams, that's for sure. They came, they saw, but they did not conquer. They came up against a brick wall. That brick wall was the same team who come back year after year and time after time to the Intel Extreme Masters. They are, as Joe Miller said, the masters of the Intel Extreme Masters. The winners and champions of the Intel Extreme Masters Cologne 2013, Gambit Gaming! <laughs> and winners of the first prize of $18,500 and your champions for the Season 8 Intel Extreme Masters Cologne. Once more, ladies and gents, Gambit Gaming! Uh, it's also time to uh, point out as well that the MVP voting has just come to an end. I can exclusively reveal that Diamond Prox is the MVP for the Intel Extreme Masters as well. And that's just about all we've got time for from the Intel Extreme Masters here in Cologne. Hope you've enjoyed a fantastic weekend of League of Legends. Ifia, it's been an absolute blast, right? Everything that uh, is going to come in our, uh, we're going to Singapore on Tuesday. We have Katowice coming up. There's so many things that are going to be amazing in the and years this guy, to come. And this guy has been crazy the whole weekend. Uh, we're going to leave you with these wonderful images. The champions once more of the Intel Extreme Masters. Who else but Gambit Gaming?